For this week's video, we're gonna turn this import harbor press into the ultimate pen press. I started building pens about nine years ago, and I've determined that pretty much every commercially sold uh, pen press is inadequate. I busted every single one that I've bought off the market, and none of them were up to the caliber of what we could build in-house. So we're gonna turn this into the ultimate pen press. This press is the current press that I'm using that I've already modified over the years. You can see it's got a HDPE uh, cutting board plate, um, custom knobs. This is removable still, so it's, you can actually use it as a standard arbor press. And we've just done several modifications. We're gonna take this one to the next level with the new one and incorporate all of the new ideas that I have. The first problem with these arbor presses is that if you're gonna push something, if you need to press something that's, too, that's very small or big, the chances of your uh, handle lining up in the correct spot so that you can actually apply force is not very likely. So they give you this adjustment screw so you can slide your handle in and out. But really, to get the ultimate adjustment, you have to be able to get this handle slid out so you can adjust the ram up and down and then it would give you the right pressure spot in order to press something. So that's the first issue we're gonna to tackle today. The second issue I have with this press is the adjustment knob for the handle absolutely sucks. It's very sharp, I've cut myself several times. Uh, we're just gonna get rid of that, make a new one or buy one store bought. It's an M8 thread, uh, it's very easy to find something to replace it. That's gonna be step two. The third thing we're gonna tackle is that these metal plates for pin pressing or any parts uh, that are brass or, or softer things are easier to press using the HDPE plates instead of steel so you're not marring up your surface. So all of these modifications that we're gonna make today are great for a pen press, but are great actually for any arbor press because it just makes it a much more functional tool and much more well-rounded. For us, it's critical to have a great pen press because we're making thousands of pens a year. But uh, I think this is a great add-on for anybody's shop. So as you can see, this is your drive mechanism. That's how it works there. And so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna mill a slot into the bottom of this that's wide enough for two teeth. So as this comes around, it'll allow the teeth to skip. And then when you back it back into the rack, the handle will be adjusted according to where you let it slip to. So it's uh, much easier to show you. Let's get on over to the mill. All right, so I did some layout work. And what we're gonna do is effectively just remove enough material that would equal two of these teeth so it can free spin. Now, I'm gonna use the mill, but you could just as easily use an angle grinder or anything to take that metal out, and, uh, or even just file it out. All right, let's just let's check our work. So 
So now, raise it all the way up and it resets. So if you find something that's not quite, if we're gonna push this and it's not quite right, go all the way up, go an extra click, and now we're at the point where we can really put some pressure on it. I've seen where some people will actually grind away the teeth, and that's fine, but what, what that does is it lowers your clearance. So I wanted this to be flush with the underside of this, so by going down further into the ram and removing that material, it keeps this as high as possible with as much clearance as possible for some taller pins or, or bearings or whatever you're gonna be pressing. So I think that's the way to go. We're gonna do a little file cleanup. All these edges are very sharp and then it, that's, that part's done. For the press plate, I like to use HDPE uh, cutting board. You can find them pretty cheap at uh, Sam's Club, some dollar stores, things like that. Okay, we drilled a through hole, and then I turned this a piece of aluminum with a five degree taper at the bottom. What we're gonna do is chuck this into the drill chuck, heat it up with the torch, and then melt our way in. And that'll give us a nice seating area for a pen. So what we have here, here's our through hole that has the taper, and then we had a halfway drilled through hole that I've pressed in a brass pen. The second thing that makes this the ultimate pen setup is a, is a hard aluminum plate, and then another piece of HDPE with a magnet that you can put on the ram. And basically, this combo will allow you to push any pen parts together uh, without marring any surfaces. So this knob is available on Amazon for about seven or eight bucks, and it's a direct fit. You just have to trim it down a little bit, and that's a great addition. But having a lathe in a mill, you can make your own knobs, so we'll swap that out. Now, if you want to see a video of me polishing my, if you want to see a video of me making a knob, I'll link it at the end of the video.